Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review and comparison of half-inch drive breaker bars. I was debating about making a video about half-inch breaker bars because they seem to be fairly universal and enough has been said about them. But there are different properties to half-inch drive breaker bars. We have a variety of brands here to compare. We have some of the Harbor Freight ones, you know, this one with the super heavy-duty head on it. We have some sliding T-handles. We have the new Harbor Freight. We have a Mac, uh, a Williams, we have a Mastercraft Pro, a Proto, and a Power Belt. So we get to compare some various different brand, common brands as well. On a side note, this is a Caterpillar branded tool, the only one I've seen. Now technically on, on many tool websites, the breaker bars with these swiveling heads are actually known as spinner handles. The idea is that you break the bolt, it goes straight. And then you can spin the fastener out. Now, many have ball dentons. So when you do go straight, it kind of wants to hold the socket straight. So maybe if you're using, turning some and then pulling it off and then turning it again by hand, that it will hold the socket in a inline fashion. But not all of them do that. Such as this Proto here. Uh, it has some spring tension, but it's not as definitive as, say, this power belt. Now, one reason you will, might want to have various dry, various size breaker bars is simply because of space constraints. Now, this power belt breaker bar is obviously a lot shorter than more of the standard breaker bars, such as this Proto here or any of the other much longer ones. It's half the length of this Harbor Freight long handle professional one but it gets into tight situations. And then this is the type of breaker bar that you would, you know, many times use your feet, legs, um, to put a lot of force on it to get it to break a bolt because it's so short. The advantage is, is it allows you to get a breaker bar into some compact spaces, which is surprisingly handy sometimes. As far as the way the heads are designed, uh, various manufacturers use different approaches and that's also what's surprising if we compare some of these like this power belt it uses a standard fork but what I do appreciate is the effort that was put into this power belt you can see that the head has a strong taper and it's very thick down here at the buckle to prevent these forks from spreading and that's actually quite significant there is a big trapezoid form by the head of this it is really extra thick down there and i really appreciated that many other manufacturers although they're very high quality such as this proto are just straight sided and if we even compare that to the power belt head which is a little difficult we can see that they're nearly the same size so the power belt gives you uh, just a little more meat on the bottom side and a little less at the top. Moving through these, the Mastercraft Pro is just what would be considered a standard length. And those would have a ball dentent. It seems that for some reason the ball dentent has not been as popular. Such as uh, this Williams does not have one. Although that shows uh, this really nice smooth strong head design. This also has a really oversized handle, which I really appreciate about it. So some of the stronger ones or nicer ones, uh, I appreciate where they have this spherical portion here. It just adds to a nicer and smoother looking breaker bar. As we move up, this is a longer handle, but this is a Mac. And so this is what would be called uh, high strength breaker bars because if in instead of a the fork being on the handle and having less cross-sectional area because of the pin. The fork is moved to the socket head itself and then the breaker bar handle can be just forged as one nice solid piece and makes these much stronger. The drawback of course is the fact that they are the heads are not as compact. They will not get into quite as tight of a space but they offer quite a bit of additional strength. Another nice property, and I appreciate about this Mac, which I think they should do on more breaker handles, is they also made this a half-inch drive extension. So you're actually getting a long half-inch drive extension and a breaker bar in one tool, which actually does add some additional value. Of course, none of these are as long as that really long Harbor Freight. The thing I will mention is many fasteners have 
fallen to half inch drive breaker bars. But I found that once you start getting the fasteners, they're just a few hundred pounds. Uh, this Harbor Freight is very strong. Um, but you do notice the springiness because it's such a long handle, especially on fasteners that you probably should be using three quarter inch drive. Although these, these breaker bars really will, uh, pretty much take care of almost all automotive and light truck needs. Um, once you get into heavier trucks, diesels, that kind of stuff, heavy equipment, uh, half inch drive becomes the new quarter inch essentially, unless you're doing interior work. This is also a Harbor Freight unit. I haven't reviewed this one independently, but we'll show it here. And this is their high strength breaker bar. It's actually the same length as their new professional long handle, but of course it has the stronger head design on it. And I would, even though this newer professional one is nice, um, this is still a stronger breaker bar. You'll ultimately better, be better off with that. And then we have our traditional sliding T-handles, or what I would call actual breaker bars, because instead of having a head that can pivot and cause forces to not be delivered nice and squarely on the fastener, we have sliding T-handles because they're rigid. They also, because of that, have very compact heads, and they're very strong because it's a solid piece of seal with a hole poked through it, so there isn't even a fork. So there isn't a fork that can spread apart or a fastener and threads that are taking the force. Nice sliding T-handles do have some properties, like this SK here has these little cutouts for the ball bearing, so you can knock, put the handle into that cutout, and then this that way the head won't rotate on it if you if you don't want it to. And that's an eye to keep. That's something to keep out for. The Caterpillar has this undercut. It's a proto. Um, and it serves the same purpose, although it's not as good as the SK. And then, yes, in, indeed, where is... And it says CAT, but this whole MFG USA in this font, um, I looked it up, these are rebranded protos. On a final note, if half-inch drive starts becoming too flexy, or you're starting to worry about breaking fasteners... There is always three quarter inch drive and one inch drive. These dry, these sizes will always be waiting for you when half inch drive is not sufficient. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe and Caddis Maximus out.